Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Devin Adams. I am a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona for Dynamic Worldwide Training Consultants. And uh, the last few videos I've been been uh, messing around in my NSC5 lab, which I encourage the participants who take my class to build themselves. And uh, I screwed up somewhere, <laughs> right? And now I need to restore a configuration on my Fortinet Manager. So uh, obviously it's a little bit more complex than just dropping a uh, or restoring a config on a FortiGate, and uh, you're going to see that because of like the databases and things like that. But in a lab environment, you know, it's a little bit safer to do because obviously we're not in a production uh, environment. But sometimes, you know, if for some reason um, there was some kind of like you know uh, corruption, we have to reinstall the Forti Manager or RMA it, or do something there that we need to actually restore the the Forti manager um, there's a couple of, of catches here that you have to do or steps and I just wanted to go ahead and in this video demo what it's like to restore a configuration on the Forti manager so um, anyways let's go ahead and go into our Windows PC here okay and I'm already logged into the Forti manager and I did screw up messing around with the VPN manager here um, there was a step that I forgot so I couldn't go forward with it and I'm just like oh man I'm so glad I got that that configuration right saved because I hadn't pushed anything down to the Florida gates yet so uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and restore my backup that I did right before I started messing around so I'm gonna go to system settings and I'm gonna do a restore real quick see the arrow pointing down and uh, I'm gonna hit browse here and because of my laptop <laughs> It's so old. It just sits here and hangs here for a couple of moments because, guys, I'm really maxing out this thing in GNS3, so I'm just going to hit pause for a second until that loads up. Yeah, I have no idea why that takes so long to pop up, but here we go. And then I'm going to find the one that I uh, saved before I start messing around, All right, which is this guy right here. I'm going to hit open. It's going to go ahead and upload it. All right. Uh, just a couple of things. If you want to um, override the current IP settings, routing and HA settings, there is an option to turn that off. And the whole reason why is because maybe for some reason, you know, we want to keep our, our interfaces changed and we're just dropping this configuration and we want to preserve those changed IP addresses and routing. Um, everything else will apply here though it really doesn't matter because they're identical all right and the whole reason why I'm doing this video is offline mode so I'm gonna hit OK and it's gonna go ahead and uh, upload the configuration and reboot the Forta manager so and the Forta manager is not like a Forta gates in other words it should be okay to, to reboot this thing once in a good while um, you know just simply because your Forta gates are not going to be affected by it in the same way. Now I say that with some caution and I am kind of just dragging my feet while I wait for this thing to boot. But um, if you are using your Forta Manager as like a, a local FortiGuard proxy for like web filtering, just make sure that you have using the, the FortiGuard public networks as a backup set up there so you don't lose connectivity to, to do your web filtering. Other than that, I mean, central management is not something that has to be looking at all the objects 100% to keep your network functioning so um, but here we go it's gonna go ahead and reboot and just because the slow s slowness of everything I think I'm gonna hit pause one more time oh wait maybe not did I psych it out maybe <laughs> okay you know I'm gonna let that go ahead and post um, and we should be able to reach it once the once the interface is initialized so that's the only problem with GNS3 on equipment that probably should be retired. It could be a little bit slower. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and pause and let it do its thing. All right, there we go. So let's go back to our login page. All right, just hit reload here. There we go. Yes, I trust it. Okay. And let's log in. Oh, come on, fat fingers. So 
So you're going to notice that when the Florida Manager gets restored and it's back up, it's in offline mode. Now what does that exactly mean? Well, offline mode means that it keeps the management tunnels down from the Florida Gates to the Florida Manager. It doesn't go out there and try to connect to them right away. So the whole reason why is because maybe you're making changes for a reason and you reverted back and maybe you need to make some, some revisions to... Um, to the actual FortiGates itself, like maybe uh, maybe if you did make some changes, you have to roll back those revisions on several FortiGates before you bring the management back up. So, um, but that's what the offline mode means. And to get out of offline mode, let's say we're we're confident everything is you know done all right in our device manager, and you can actually see this if we go into device manager here. All right. See how all of our tunnels have remained down, all right? And that's for that's by design. And this way, we can go ahead and manipulate what we need to manipulate to get back to that point uh, where we were before we did the the restoration, before we restored it. And so, and I'm talking about, you know, what we reviewed earlier about these bad boys. You know, maybe we have to take our several ones that we screwed up or something and revert it back. We can do that here. And then, when we're ready to bring up the management side of things, we go to our system settings. Go all the way down to advanced settings to turn offline mode off, right, to disable it. We hit apply. And now, we're managing the FortiGates again. And we can see this by going to our device manager. And you'll see these tunnels slowly start turning up. So, um... In fact, let's just kind of go oh, see our local FortiGate was first. All right. But slowly and surely, I promise you, the other ones are going to come back up too. So I had a five here. And you can actually force a tunnel to come up right away too, guys, if you hit this little circular button here you can kind of force the tunnel to negotiate and come up right away if you don't want to wait for it all right so and remember it is a web GUI so hit f5 on your keyboard to refresh it there we go so just need a little bit more patience but there you guys go so if you're ever restoring a configuration onto a Florida manager just remember that it's going to come back in offline mode and offline mode just simply means that the management tunnels are not going to be built that way you can go back to the individual devices that you might have made the changes before you're restoring the configuration and tweak them there so when they come back online they can be ready for the management side of things so i uh, hope someone finds that helpful and hopefully i'll get my vpn tunnels working today so Thanks for watching, guys.